In this video, I will show you exactly how to create your own custom GPT, why it's beneficial to you or your business, and how you can add data or data sources so that GPT becomes even smarter than it already is. Let's get right to it. We all know this screen. This is vanilla GPT or vanilla chat GPT. But recently, OpenAI announced that you can create your own GPTs. And you can see that right here. You can click on Explore GPTs. And if you have the Pro plan or the Plus, uh, OpenAI Plus plan, you can now create your own own GPT. I will show you how to do it. You simply click on this button right here and then ChatGPT will ask you to do a few simple things. It prompts you through the whole process, but I'll show you how to get even more value out of it. So in this example, uh, let's just create a GPT that helps you with sales. Here it gives you a simple prompt, but I have something different in mind. So I'm gonna say, make a sales expert that can help me with creating sales scripts and communication templates and develop a sales strategy for my business. But beyond that, I'm also gonna include what other information I wanted. And it's really important to always give ChatGPT your goal. In this case, my goal is to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of my sales processes, improve co conversion rates, and ultimately drive business growth. So I'm gonna shoot it up there and GPT responds. He, it says, how about naming it GPT Sales Ace? I don't really like that name. I'm, I wanna name it Sales GPT Mastermind. Now it's gonna generate a profile picture. All right, let's say we're good with this picture. We're gonna say that picture looks good. So now it's asking us now about the interaction guidelines of sales GPT Mastermind, could you specify if there are any particular sales techniques or methodologies you could focus on? And should the advice provided be highly technical and detailed or more general and accessible? This will help fine tuning this approach to offering sales. So we're just gonna follow the prompts and we're gonna say, I want the GPT to... Here is more information. And I've already created a little script that I think is gonna be really helpful for ChatGPT to understand what I really want. So in this case, I said, for sales scripts and communication templates, please create effective sales scripts and communication templates. These should be adaptable to various scenarios, including cold calls, email follow-ups, and initial client meetings. They should cater to different uh, products and services and be able to engage diverse customer segments, ask the user what industry they are, and then follow up questions to tailor their approach. For sales strategy development, this custom GPT should help in developing refine and refining sales strategies. This includes identifying the most effective sales channels and understanding customer buying behaviors and designing strategies that can adapt to changing market conditions. So I'm just gonna hit enter here. All right, so now GPT tells me that the behavior for sales mastermind is now fine-tuned, focused on creating detailed data, exactly what I told it. Uh, now it's asking me, finally, let's discuss how sales GPT mastermind should communicate with you. Would you prefer a formal or casual in tone? I'm gonna tell it, use a friendly tone for both communicating with me and also use a friendly tone when creating sales scripts and copy. Now the GPT is almost ready. Uh, it tells me that I can try it out and tailor my responses that I would like based on the answers that it gives. So let's try it out. I'm gonna say, um, how can I improve my sales pitch? It currently doesn't have my sales pitch, so it's gonna answer with something generic, right? So it's gonna say, know your audience, highly benefits. I don't want that. In this case, I'm gonna say, it is currently just giving me advice on what to do, but I want GPT to write copy, text, or sales strategies for me. It should first ask what my product is and what industry I am in, and then decide what my target audience is. I'm not gonna ask it to confirm it with you, I'm just gonna go with straight with that. So I'm also gonna give it more detailed instructions now. I'm gonna just say, I'm also gonna tell it that the GPT should just ask what my product is, and then based on that decide, on its own target market. It should always have a friendly tone on the content that it creates. Now ChatGPT is ready already, and I can now ask it again. So we could either ask it the same thing and see if it asks us what my product is. Once again, ChatGPT only gave me generic instructions, but instead I wanted to generate the text for me. So I'm gonna tell it that. I'm gonna say, this GPT should return with a copy for what I want to do rather than giving me generic advice. It should generate sales scripts and marketing copy for when I prompt it and not give me generic advice. So now we try it once again. This time, maybe we give it a little bit more context, all right? So we're gonna say, I am selling vegan outreach script. And now it's doing what I want. So now it's generating a, an, an email, cold email template for, um, for what I'm doing. And it already includes the information I gave it. 
it outlines the key selling points for why the vegan protein bar is best for them and is asking them to try it out. This is really good, but it gets better. If you click on configure, you can ask it certain things. So here we see exactly what the instructions are that the GPT uses. And you can pause the video here to read it, but I will also show you how to make it even better. So you can add your own knowledge. So you could either add your existing sales scripts or your existing marketing material or information about your product. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some sales specific information. I already made an ultimate prompt guide for ChatGPT for sales. And I already created prompts and frameworks that ChatGPT can use to create really targeted copy and make exceptional marketing material. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna click here on export my thing. I'm gonna click as a PDF. And by the way, all of this is down in the description. You can get access to this uh, for yourself as well if you're interested in ChatGPT for sales. Now we're gonna upload it. So you can click on upload files. You first have to select code interpreter, click on upload files, uh, ChatGPT for sales. I saved it as an HTML and I can just open it right now. But let's go beyond that. Let's say you don't have any information to add. You can add information from online, anything that has been published. Let's do an example of that. Let's say you don't know too much about sales, but the internet does. So you're just gonna ask the internet, what are some sales strategies, uh, do's and don'ts? You can click on this, you can click on view, show reader, and now save this command print as a PDF. Let's save it right here. Go back to ChatGPT and let's upload that file of the information about sales prompts. So we go one back, it's right here. Uh, we see a sales document, do's and don'ts. And then ChatGPT will use all of this information in order to generate better responses. So we're uploading it right here. This is a PDF. This is my own custom GPT. So now that we have uploaded our own files for the custom GPT, we can try the same prompt again. So let's just say the prompt that we were saying is the same one as earlier. We say, please write an in-depth yet concise cold email outreach to a new potential customer for our company that sells vegan healthy protein bars direct to consumer. And we hit enter. And as you can see here, this cold email outreach uh, message is already much better than it was before. And that's because it's taking in data from the left side here. And this works like a regular GPT. So what you do, you can always say, make it more concise and to the point, and it will work like a regular ChatGPT chatbot, just with your own information. And already this uh, cold email is already much better. Perfect. All right, what else can you do here? You can also create uh, new actions. You have to put your API key in here and authenticate yourself and put your schema on how to connect it with other actions. You can do that with Zapier or other connection methods. And if you'd like to see how that's done as well, I can make another video on that. Just let me know in the comments. Lastly, there's also advanced options down here that you can click, but for right now, it's just use conversational data in your GPT to improve our models. I usually keep that on unless I have a sp specific situation where I don't. All right, so now that we have our own custom GPT, we can now publish it. Right now, it's only published to me, so I can use it. And I like to do that when I keep the data in-house if I work with my own data and just build my own workflows. But we can also publish this to other people and they can use it. You can either select anyone with a link or you can select to everyone. And then it's published on the ChatGPT uh, store. And you can either make that a payable option or you can make people use it for free. Um, I'm gonna set uh, anyone with a link and you can find this link in the description so you can see exactly what my prompts is on the side and you can play with it and use it for yourself. So let's click update. Anyone with a link, confirm, and it's ready. This is my link here. I'm gonna copy this uh, and you can view your GPT. And now this is a GPT that you can see in your top left and you can use it however you want. Again, uh, let's try something else, let's say. And for this example, let's do something online based. Uh, I'm just writing, create an in-depth uh, call to action for my website. I am selling a SaaS tool that enables email marketers to reach their customers better. Very generic, but let's see what uh, ChatGPT comes up with. It's creating a new chat. It's using your sales GPT mastermind and it's putting everything for your website ready with a heading, a subheading, a core message, and uh, action-oriented statements, direct call to action, uh, social proof and endorsement. So it's giving you a few options here based on the data that we provided. But let's just say create one customers to try it out. And 
it is using everything you said here, everything that is already in the training data. And here we have it. Unlock the full potential of your email campaigns. Try your product name today for game-changing results. That's a killer headline. Very impressive. All right, that's it for today, but I'm coming back with another video on how to do this more in depth and build a custom GPT that you can sell online next week. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button if you like this content. If you didn't, then don't. And uh, it, all the links are in the description. Check them out and try it out for yourself. Peace out.